I'm Owen Rogers, Research Director of the Cloud Transformation Channel and Digital Economics Unit at 451 Research, now a part of S&P Global Market Intelligence. My coverage area includes public cloud services and the economics of cloud as well. According to 451 Research's Voice of the Enterprise, 63% of IT decision makers see cost as a primary criterion in provider selection. But buyers want more than just cheap. Performance is close behind, with 50% of decision makers seeing it as a primary decision criterion in choosing a cloud. Most companies only need a handful of cloud services. Most don't need unlimited scalability or features or professional services. They just want their applications to perform well at a decent price. And this is particularly true for SMBs and developers. Alternative providers are able to focus on delivering key services to customers without being distracted by less commonly used services. With a limited range of options, alternative providers are able to focus on efficiency and automation. And this overall increases efficiency, which drives out cost. In cloud, just like in any market, there is a trade-off between cost and capability. Web hosting has been around for decades, and it's easy to brand these inexpensive and simple services as cloud. Although they may be great for hosting simple websites in a single data center, small and medium businesses often need more resiliency, flexibility, support, and options for their business-critical web applications. Simple virtual private servers can't offer these capabilities. Alternative cloud providers typically offer services beyond just servers, including storage and container management through platforms such as Kubernetes. Opting for the simplest service can initially appear good value, but when you need more flexibility in the future, it can be difficult to make changes quickly. The changes many companies have had to make as a result of COVID shows agility can make the difference between thriving or surviving during the unexpected. In fact, 19% of organizations plan to ramp up their spending on external cloud IT infrastructure as a result of the pandemic. And that's according to our recent Voice of the Enterprise Digital Pulse survey. A hybrid cloud model has the potential to offer the optimum balance of performance and cost. Businesses can decide which cloud environment is best for each individual workload's need, some workloads, such as batch processing, can be relegated to the cheapest locations where speed is less of a driving factor. Other workloads, such as client-facing front-end applications, can be given greater priority in terms of performance in return for a greater cost, where this additional expense is likely to drive further revenue through a better experience. Fifty-eight percent of enterprises are pursuing a hybrid approach for their IT estates, according to 451 Research's Voice of the Enterprise. In practice, this means IT buyers don't want to commit to a single cloud venue or supplier. They want to use a range of clouds, choosing which cloud is most appropriate for each individual application or workload. Cloud buyers should consider all their options for each workload to ensure they're getting a balance of performance, cost, availability and support optimised for the application in question. Keeping an open mind means enterprises can choose the most appropriate service at the most reasonable price.